Greetings YouTubers and welcome to my 58th TTM video. Today I will share with you two, yes, two returns I got. Uh, took a while for these two as well. I'll show you a couple of pickups I made and some shout outs to great channels and a great care package I got from one of the biggest stars on YouTube. Um, so I hope everyone's doing well and staying safe and all that. And also, I will talk about the um, the giveaway. The giveaway to enter is until Wednesday. So Wednesday is the cutoff date because Thursday I'll start the first drawing of the uh, the giveaway. And also I have to mention it's open to who? Who's it open to? Only people that live on the planet Earth. So that's it. You, you can't live anywhere else. So Sorry, just to Earth people. Shipping's too much to the other planets. All right, let's get down to the shout-outs. First shout-out is Mike at Winless Champs. Get up there. He's got a great channel, does a lot of rips. It's enjoyable. He's got good stuff when he rips, uh, all kinds of things. So check him out. And then we got a new channel I've started to watch, Cash and Dad Pack Busters. And they bust packs, and they are father and son there. They do a great job. It's a real fun channel. I'm glad I just got on to subscribe with them. Also, got another one, Rippin' for Rookies. It's another great channel that does rips. Uh, he had a great series for a long time, a bunch of months where he would do each week a different team giveaway of fabulous team cards of all Major League teams. That was really nice of him. He's got a great channel. And, uh, you know, check him out if you haven't. And also the Card Doctor. You got a fever? The doctor's got TTMs there to cure it. Check him out. He has a great channel as well for TTMs. You'll enjoy that. Now, I want to give a big shout out to a care package I got from some folks up, yes, in Canada. Got to get the flag out because these guys are great. And it's from Canadian Card Breakers starring Tristan. Yeah, he's the big star of the show. Let's not kid ourselves. It's one of the biggest stars on YouTube right now, I believe. They sent me a care package that I just... Wow, I was amazed when I got it the other day. He sent me a great note. Uh, thank you, Ed, for everything you've done for the card community and our channel. It's people like you who make this fun and enjoyable for everyone, including Tristan. We hope you enjoy everything Tristan picked out for you. And uh, thanks again, your friends, Canadian Card Breakers and Tristan. Well, I do like it. It's... Wow, it's amazing. The first amazing thing is this state-of-the-art drawing by Tristan. Look at that. That's that's great. That boat. That is really great. I like it. It's, a, it'll be worth something someday when he makes it real big. Oh, I got a piece of the original, and they they sent me this nice pennant, the Saskatchewan Rough Riders of the Canadian Football League. So that's cool. I'm gonna hang that up down here in my man cave that near the uh, Canadian flag there. And then they gave me this awesome mug. Look at this mug. This is cool. Tim Horton. I love it. It's got a puck on the bottom. Look, look at that. The donut with the sticks. That is just awesome. Awesome. Love it. That is a great cup. I can say that for sure. Thank you so much, guys. And they topped it off with this beauty. A, a scarf. Yes, the Get that in there. The Toronto Maple Leaf scarf. That is a great scarf. And I will certainly wear it in the winter. Yeah, there it is. Big scarf. Put it back there. Well, you can't see it back there, so I'll put it over here. And this will be the backdrop for today. We'll leave the Canadian flag up and everything. I'll move Tristan's drawing. So thank you, guys. Thank you so much, guys. Tristan, my buddy up there in Canada, he's great. Biggest star on YouTube, I'm telling you. He's he's right up there. Uh, I mean, popular. He's one of the biggest stars in Canada with J.K. J.K. Johnny and uh, his brother Marky Mark. So, if you haven't seen these guys as well, check them out. Thank you again for the super, super stuff. And that drawing, Tristan, that's going to be worth something someday. I know it. Because you're already a star, so it's just going to get more valuable. So, thank you again, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, wow, that, that took me by surprise. It was a huge box I got the other day and wanted to show everybody because this is the, what the card, card community is all about. Great people, and I enjoy it. 
And, uh, you know, you get something like this from these great folks. It's just really an honor. Ah, I can't top that at all, but uh, I'll show you a couple of the pickups. I got two cards for my 56 uh, collection. I picked up this Eddie Robinson here. Nice looking Eddie. I'm not going to have him sign it. I get a, another one or a reprint. And also I got this Donnie Newcomb slabbed. It's a three, but it looks pretty good for a three. You know, I liked it. Came slab, great pitcher, the nuke. And now to the TTMs. This first TTM took four months. There's no fee whatsoever. But it came from I mailed it to Kentucky, but it came back from uh, postmark Charleston, West Virginia. Although he lives right on the border there in Kentucky, West Virginia. And that's from a man who won four straight World Series. Four straight. Was a pitcher on four straight World Series teams. Had to retire because of injuries when he was fairly young. And that is a former pitcher, Don Gullett. Got him to sign this card when he was on the Reds. And then won with the Yankees. Now, who was Don Gullett? I'm going to tell you. Interesting person. Donald Edward Gullett, better known as Don, born on January 6, 1951 in Lynn, Kentucky. He's 70 years of age. Attended McKell High School out in South Shore, Kentucky, where he was a three-sport athlete, baseball, football, and basketball. As a pitcher, he tossed a perfect game, striking out 20 of the 21 batters he faced. And as a high school football player, he once scored 72 points in a game. In a single game where he ran for 11 touchdowns and kicked uh, six extra points. He was named an All-State athlete in three sports in his senior year. And if you go to the courthouse, the courthouse lawn in Greenup County, Kentucky, there is a monument to him which says this is Don Gullett country. So they appreciate him. In the 1969 Major League Draft, he was picked in the first round by the Cincinnati Reds. His career went from 1970 to 1978. He played with both the Reds and the Yankees. Made his Major League debut on April 10, 1970 at the Old Stick, Candlestick Park in San Francisco against the Giants. His rookie season in 1970, he pitched in 44 games, 42 in relief, where he went 5-2 and two with a 2.43 ERA. He actually pitched in the World Series that year for the Reds against the Baltimore Orioles. He pitched a total of six and two-thirds innings, gave up one earned run, which is about 1.35 in the ERA column. In November 1976, he signed with the New York Yankees as a free agent in his fourth start of the season on April 25, 1977 in Baltimore, Maryland at the old Memorial Stadium. It was raining and it was wet on the mound. In the fourth inning, he slipped and fell on the wet pitching mound, spraining his ankle and straining a muscle in his neck. He eventually came back on May 7th against the Oakland A's where he struck out 10 in an 11-2 complete game victory. That year, he went 14-4 in 1977 and helped the Yankees win the World Series for the first time since 1962. But he had shoulder problems in 1978, and that pretty much ended his career at age 28. In his nine-year career, he had 109 wins, 50 losses, had a 3.11 ERA, struck out 94 batters, and... He was actually a career 194 hitter, so he wasn't terrible at the plate for a pitcher. He played in six World Series in his career. So you're talking the nine-year career. He pitched in six World Series. 1970 for the Reds, they lost to the Orioles. 1972 for the Reds, they lost to the A's. 75 for the Reds, they beat the Red Sox. 76 for the Reds, they beat the Yankees. 77 and 78 for the Yankees when they beat the uh, Dodgers. Four-time World Series champ from 1975 to 78. He was on a World Series winner. And he was a good pitcher. If he hadn't gotten hurt in 78. He had really done some damage in that World Series. Uh, in 1975, a little note here. In 1975, in the National League Championship Series against the Pirates, he pitched a complete game, victory. He hit a single and also a homer and drove in three runs in that game. And sometimes the Reds used him as a pinch runner as well. After his career was over, he became a Reds pitching coach for many years and is a member of the Cincinnati Reds Hall of Fame. So I thought this one was never coming back, but I took a chance. Thank you, Mr. Don Gullett, for the autos. Take a while, but, you know, 
worth it. This next one took five months to come back. There was no fee from the state of Washington. I thought this one was finished. I'd seen him signing for other people, but I thought, well, he, he just didn't want to sign mine. And that's Mr. Dave Heverlo. Signed the 76 tops, 78 tops, and got him on the 81 Donruss as a mariner. Mr. David Wallace Heverlo, better known as Dave Bargain. Born August 25th, 1950 in Ellensburg, Washington. 70 years of age right now. Attended Moses Lake High School in Moses Lake, Washington. little trivia note, useless trivia for you. Moses Lake was the site of Evil Knievel's first successful jump ever. Uh, he attended Central Washington University, which is in Ellensburg. His major league career spanned from 1975 to 81 with the San Francisco Giants the Oakland A's on two separate occasions, and the Seattle Mariners. He went 26-26 and 26 with a 3.41 ERA, striking up 288 batters. He was known as his jokester in his day. He once shaved his head before a game and insisted on keeping his non-roster number, number 60, during his rookie season. I think you can kind of see it on the back there, with the 78 card, you see the 6. <laughs> In 1977, after going 5-1 and one with a 2.55 ERA, he was traded on March 15, 1978 to the Oakland A's, along with Gary Thomason, Gary Alexander, John Henry Johnson, Phil Huffman, Alan Worth, and $300,000 for Mr. Vita Blue. So he was involved in the Vita Blue trade. Uh, after his career is over, he is a host of a radio talk show. He's also the pitching coach of the Big Ben Vikings in Moses Lake, his son Jeff was a minor league pitcher in both the Mariners and Angels organizations. And he also did sign my index card. He said, Ed, best wishes, Dave Heverlo. So that's nice. I saw him in the past sign some index cards where he said, if you don't stand for the uh, national anthem, I'm sorry I signed for you. But luckily I didn't get that. So thank you, Mr. Heverlo, for the four signatures. I appreciate that. And that was it. So that was it. Hopefully a short video for everybody today. I want to thank everybody for watching. If you're new to the channel and you uh, like what you saw, hit the uh, subscribe button and the bell, and you'll get uh, updates You know when the next video comes out. And then you can enter the contest if you're a subscriber. If you didn't like what you saw, you know, subscribe anyway. It don't cost nothing. And you might like something down the line. Also, check out those channels I told you about, The Card Doctor. Check him out. Ripping for Rookies, Cash and Dad, Packbusters, Winless Champs, and Canadian Card Breakers starring Tristan. Check all those guys out. Give them a sub. It don't cost nothing. You make everybody happy when you do that. That's the nice thing about it. So I appreciate everybody's time. Thanks again for the, uh, the great care package, guys. Up there from Canada. Tristan, thank you, buddy. And thank you all. Be kind to each other, one person at a time. Pay it forward. And the world will be a better place. Again, Wednesday is the date, the end for the uh, entry into the contest. So you want to get those in there, let me know in the comment section. Leave a comment, and I'll get back to you. So tonight, we say goodnight to Arizona. Good night, everybody.